you hurt your arm on the seat. Uh-oh. Is it going to be all right? You think? You just bumped it. Oh, I hate bumping my arms, you know. You what? Ah, the vacation Bible. That's so cool. Uh huh. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So you've skipped all of them and you've got one more. All right. Oh, you're doing four. Oh, okay. Well, how many of you know what a recipe is? You know? Well, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so I just, I've been checking on my phone and, and, and it, I found a place that says we've got some options for a dinner idea. And, and I'm looking here and it's the tastiest burgers. Do you guys like burgers? I only eat meat burgers. You don't eat I burgers? Eat you eat hot dogs. Daddy does eat hot dogs. That's, hot dogs are okay. What, do you, what about you? Do you eat burgers or are you a hot dog fan too? You're a hot dog fan too. Well, my recipe doesn't say anything about hot dogs, okay? But Maybe spaghetti noodles. Spaghetti noodles on a bun? No, hmm. no, no, no not bun, no bun. Spaghetti noodles on a bun. Spaghetti noodles on a bun with meatballs? No. You don't think that's a good recipe? No. No, Maybe why not? Maybe. Soup on a bun? Maybe that How do you? Was well, you know, I think probably for me, the best thing would be to do to follow the recipe. Because the recipe will tell me exactly how to make what I want, right? And if I follow the recipe just perfectly, it's going to taste great, right? Okay, well, not always the way I make them, okay? I followed a recipe one time for turkey apple crepes. You know what? We went out for dinner. We went out for dinner. It was awful because I didn't follow the recipe. Now, this recipe calls for ground meat and steak seasoning and olive oil and portobello mushroom. Oh, man, it sounds so good. Okay. So do you know that you don't eat mushrooms? You either. I know. What is the matter with you guys? You don't eat mushrooms either? Uh, fungi is the best. It is just the best. Well, anyhow, so, so we, we follow recipes so that we can, can make dinner or maybe we make a cake or, or a pie or, or something like that. Oh, a lemon pie right there. That's what we're talking about. Upside down. Pineapple, okay. Those are great. Okay, well, guess what? Guess what? Okay, we have all these recipes to make all this good food. Do you know that God gave us a recipe? Did you know that? You didn't know that? Oh, my goodness. How could you guys not know that? Okay. You painted your toenails? There you go. Okay, guess what? This is God's recipe of having a great relationship with God. Okay? And and if we open the Bible, okay, it will tell us all about who God is. And maybe you don't need to hold his head down. It's okay. okay? It's okay. You don't mind. <laughs> okay. So so it gives us a recipe on how to talk to God. That's what we're going to do today. Do you know do you know what the what the recipe is? That Jesus gave us for, for talking to God? It says right here in, in Luke 11, okay? And we're going to read this for those guys a little bit later, but we'll, they can hear it again. Okay, it says, Father, hallowed be your name. Okay? You know what that means? It says, hey, Dad, you're pretty cool. All right? Yeah? 
All right, so, so it says, Dad, you're pretty cool. Your kingdom come, okay? We want to be with you, okay? We want to be together with Dad, okay? Give us each day our daily bread. Make sure you feed me, okay? Please, all right? And, and forgive us our sins. So when I make a mistake, Dad, okay, you got to still love me, right? Dads do that, right? Yeah. They're pretty good, okay? All right? For we also forgive everyone else who sins against us. Okay, so that means what? When somebody hurts us, we got to forgive them. Right? When somebody does something wrong, okay? All right? And lead us not into temptation. So oh, yeah. all those things I'm not supposed to do that I really want to do, don't do it. Right? So, God, you need to help us. And so, God gives us a recipe. This is a recipe for living the life that God wants us to live. All right? And, and so, and there's a lot more recipes in here that will help us to do that. So, anytime you need to know, what do you, what, what's God want me to do? What do you do? There you go. Well, bit, well, if you can't have a Bible in the dining room, okay, well, sometimes you've got two kind of Bibles. That's great. Okay. And they're both upstairs. Oh, my goodness. Maybe. Okay. Um, you've got your Bible? That's awesome. Okay. Cool. So, so we've got Bibles. All we got to do is if all the Bibles are upstairs, we go upstairs and get one and bring it down so we can look at the recipe, right? And say, this is what God wants us to do. Can you do, let's do that? Yes. Anytime you have a question, what would, what would God want me to do? If we need the recipe, it's right here. Okay? All right. Let's pray. Dear God, when we follow the recipe, it makes great food. When we follow your recipe for life and for love, it makes for great people. Great people in a great relationship with you. So God, help us to love you by learning your recipes, by living the way you want us to live. And we can do that. We can learn that by reading the Bible. So help us, God, to learn our stories and to learn, our, to learn all about you so that we know how you want us to live. And all God's people said, amen. amen. All right, you can go on back.